So good morning from beautiful Stewart, Florida. We're out here with Chris Britton this morning, fishing inlets for tarpon. It's the early minnow run here in June. Chris is hooked up on a beautiful fish. We're throwing heavier swim baits in fast current. We're using the five and a half inch pro tail paddle and the three ounce. Awesome sunrise, we got fish working all around us. This fish is just headed right for the ocean. Woo! See here, we're fishing some pretty stout tackle. Chris is fishing, uh, it's like a Daiwa Saltese, probably 5,500, 65 pound braid. Uh, we're using somewhat light leaders here. The water was a little bit clear, so we're fishing 60 pound fluoro. So this is what we're talking about here during the minnow run in Stewart. We're with Captain Chris. This is his beautiful fish right here. We've got the 5.5 Pro Tail Paddle. It's stuck right up here in the button. Still in great shape, super durable bait. We're imitating the minnow run. With all this minnow hatch going on. And nice quality fish. This one's probably about 80 pounds. Perfect size. It's still a challenge in this deep water and fast current. Chris, it's a beautiful fish. So we're gonna get this beauty going here. She's nice and revived. Look at that color on her. She's just beautiful. Nice ocean going fish. You can see you later here, honey. There she goes. So that's it. This is that beautiful East Coast fishery. We've got a lot of hoagie fans and customers that take advantage of this fishery. We're gonna go into more detail about how we like to fish the swing with the heavy swim baits here in the inlet. But get out here early, find the fish working on the minnows have a proper presentation and awesome results just like that. So real quick, we're gonna talk about how to fish the swing with these heavier swim baits and fast current. We're gonna be fishing the 11 to eight o'clock position. That means we're gonna be casting up tide, allowing the bait to sink for three to five seconds and begin a slow, steady retrieve, sweeping it through the current, imitating that forage flushing out. Give it a long cast up current, Allow it to sink for three to five seconds. Point my rod tip down. Begin a slow, steady retrieve. You don't want to impart too much jerking action. You can impart an occasional pause to allow the bait to drop and begin that steady retrieve again. The tarpon are sitting here staged with their heads facing into the current, so our goal is to have that bait sweep right by their nose and hopefully trigger that reaction strike as it goes by. Now you can experiment with the depth by just allowing the bait to sink less or more. We're in 25 feet of water. We do see fish active on the surface, but there are a lot that are holding mid-water column. So allowing that bait to sink for five, six, seven seconds can get you down a little bit deeper and target fish lower in the water column. Chris, another excellent trip over here in your home waters. Yeah, man, it's been epic. This bite has been phenomenal. We've been over here, we've filmed at least a dozen times. You can check out our video library and see all the adventures we've done from Stewart to Vero with Captain Chris Britton. He's Grey Ghost Charters. If you're ever wanting to get out here and get on this tarpon bike, Chris is the man. He can show you how to come out here, do it on hoagies, and get you hooked up. It's always a great time, my friend. Oh, always. It's always a pleasure, man. I always enjoy your company, and it's always a great time. Awesome. Well, that was great. We just had a beautiful release on the beach. Got a nice in-the-water shot. Uh, long fight on that fish, but uh, swam away healthy, and just an awesome, you know, first half of the day. I think we're going to call it, go back and relax a little bit, 
we'll check you out next time.